G'day John for the hot end. Today we've got another printer review for you. Today I need to talk to you about the GTEC A20M. I don't know where do they get all those numbers and things from. But it's the A20M. And yep, it's another Chinese printer. Uh, they just keep on coming, don't they? Anyway, the GTEC A20M is a, a flow on from the GTEC A10M, funnily enough. It's a 24 volt printer. It has a 250 by 250 by 250 build volume and really that's about it is it special well yes it is this one is special like the a10m this is a dual extruder printer now if you have a mind to print in two colors or if you want to print something with say pva supports you know, the soluble type thing and you've always wanted to have a play around with dual extruders this is the one to get now I'm not kidding here when I first set this printer up I thought to myself as I said earlier yeah another Chinese printer and another printer that has a two into one dual extruder system We've tested, well, I'll rephrase. We have had a two into one dual extruder system printed before and we never reviewed it because we could not get the thing to print. It was clog after clog after clog. It was useless. I've also had a go at dual extruder dual nozzle printers i've had a couple of those and we haven't reviewed those either because in my opinion for the average 3d printer user they're just way too hard to use lining up those nozzles uh, especially on the z height wise to get it absolutely perfect and I'm talking it has to be within 0 0.05 of a millimeter is really hard really really hard so if if you must have a dual extruder printer then go for a dual extruder single nozzle printer and that's what this one is now why does this one work when others that we've looked at didn't? The short answer is I have no idea. I haven't seen inside the actual mixer on this printer. I've had it apart, but I couldn't get it apart enough to check out what actually happens. But all I can tell you is that there are two extruders mounted on two motors on the top of the gantry and they feed down through a Bowden tube one each into two cold zone hot ends each one has its own cooling fan which is very good and then they go down through their own heat brakes into a large aluminium heat block and that's where the magic happens in that heat block because it then gets pushed out a single nozzle now I'm going to put up a lot of pictures of prints that I've done on this printer because really even if this was not a dual extruder printer if it was just a single extruder normal common garden variety Chinese printer I would have been impressed because the print quality on this thing is really really nice 
it prints as good as any Chinese printer or any printer for that matter that I have reviewed so I'm putting it up in the league with the Ender 3s uh, the TiVo flash that type of printer it is a really nice printer but add to that that it's dual extruder and you go to a whole new level I like Chinese I like Chinese now I'm not saying that this printer is perfect it's not because it's a Chinese printer now they try really really hard to take on board all the comments and advice that people give on the various Facebook groups and what have you and but they still make some in my opinion fundamental errors and this one is no exception firstly something as silly as the spool holders the spool holders don't mount the right way round on the gantry you have to print a 90 degree bracket so that they mount correctly on the gantry that's just silly but anyway I tend not to use the built-in um, spool holders anyway so it didn't matter to me the second one is if you read the groups a lot of people do have clogging jamming issues with this printer now when I first started printing with this printer I didn't have any it just worked it worked really nicely but then I found after a few prints that it was under extruding and I've since found out that the firmware that came loaded on my printer uh, was an older version of the firmware so I updated the firmware to the current version but unfortunately the updated version of the firmware still hadn't addressed the under extrusion problem it was set at 340 millimeters instead of 440 millimeters now you'll think that that's a rather weird number for e-steps but it's because the extruders are a geared extruder it's a I think a 4 to 1 ratio geared extruder which is obviously a clone of another extruder which I won't name and it's really not what I would call a good clone the build of the extruder has some flaws and once you have to take it apart once well put it this way I spent a full day trying to get one of the extruders to extrude properly and it took me a full day to figure out what I had done wrong in reassembling the extruder and that all it was was the larger gear the driven gear hadn't seated down in the bearing squarely once I found out what it was and gave it a decent push and it clicked into place I haven't had a problem since but the the build of the extruders is is not good I've got to say that it's not good I would replace the extruders fairly quickly another reason why I would do that is they use the funnily enough cheap Chinese connectors for the Bowden tube now these connectors fail they lose grip on the tubing the tubing comes out and it's then useless you can't use it so I've had to replace one of those and I think the second one is on the way out as well this is not specific to this printer this is all Chinese printers that I have reviewed and the ones that I haven't reviewed but we've had 
if you know what I mean. Resurrection is the group harder than any erection that shows no affection. They want a man that's on Capitol Hill. Cause it's dime of the super dime of the have had the same sort of problems. So you would think that by now they would have fixed this, changed their suppliers or whatever for those connectors because they're just not strong enough for the forces of pushing that filament through. Okay, they're my two gripes with this printer, the spool holder and the extruders. Everything else works perfectly. I have had no problems whatsoever with things like end stop switches, um, the bed, the alignments, the wheels on the bed and the gantries uh, have eccentric nuts for adjustment. So everything is adjustable in that respect. And as I said, as a printer, it prints very, very nicely. A lot of the prints that you will see the pictures of are printed in Ararum PLA. I did run some PETG through it, but that's when I started having clogging issues, so I haven't been game to, to retry it. I'm sure now that I've figured out how these extruders work, uh, I should be able to get PETG to run through it as well. The printer that I've been testing was supplied to us by Gearbest and if you're interested in getting one of these printers as you know we have affiliates with Gearbest the links will be in the description below and it's currently on flash sale so it's a win-win for you guys I think you can see that in the background $349.99 US is the current price on this printer and at that price I think it is really good value for money. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! It's a printer that a newbie could use. There's very little assembly required. You get everything that you need with it. The G codes on the SD card that come with it actually print. You get a bit of filament that will print them. And I think probably, and I, here's my sales pitch on this one, um, it would probably make a great Christmas present or depending on when you see this video, a late Christmas present. Okay, I'll run through more of the pictures of the prints and a few videos of the printer running, which you will have seen some already. And don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see, hit the bell, it helps us out a lot and hopefully uh, I'll be seeing you shortly with another review. Bye for now. You gentlemen, all your base are belong to us. You are on the way to destruction. What you say? You have no chance to survive, make your time. <laughs>